How's it going, everybody? My name is Benjamin Anderson, and in today's video, we're going to be kicking off a series on the Behavior tab. Now, the goal of this video will be to show you what the different pieces of the Behavior tab are and give a brief explanation of them and how they're similar or different from each other. So first of all, what is the Behavior tab? The Behavior tab is how you interact with the data and the user interface of your app. According to AppSheet, all the behavioral features fall into three basic categories. These are navigating between data and views, modifying data, and communicating externally. We'll go through more of the specifics of the possible actions in other videos, but today we're going to describe more about what the sub tabs do. Like I said, there are five sub tabs that live inside the behavior tab. Actions, workflow, report, chat box, and offline slash sync. Each of these has their own specific purpose and use case. The last two sub tabs are much simpler than the first three, so we're going to start with them. The second tab from the right is the chatbot, which allows you to add a Facebook chatbot to an app, and if it's toggled on, you are allowed to choose some of the default messages um, for your chatbot. The tab on the far right, offline slash sync, is basically what it says in the title, mainly settings for the different offline and sync capabilities of the app. We will go more in depth into the individual pieces of these tabs in a later video. The settings in these tabs are very useful in some apps, but not widely dealt with across all apps. The other three tabs, however, are used very frequently. The action tab, for instance, is the one you see most in the actual app, even if you don't realize it. Every time you chain views, add or delete data, or press almost any button you see on screen, you are using an action. A lot of these are created by AppSheet behind the scenes, so you don't even have to worry about them. But if you want, you can add as many as you desire. Next, we've got workflows and reports. These two tabs are very similar. They ultimately do very similar things. For instance, both can send templated emails, SMS notifications, excuse me, SMS text messages, push notifications, and webhooks. The prime differences between these two are what triggers them. Workflows, for instance, are triggered on an individual basis. One very common use of this is when a data is when data is manipulated. When it is added, deleted, or changed, you can choose to trigger a workflow. So for instance, if you wanted to send an email every time a customer is added, you would use a workflow. On the other hand, reports are not run when an event happens in the app, but at certain times. So for instance, instead of every time someone was added, you wanted to email summaries of all the customers that are added in a week, you would use a report. Now that's going to be all for this video. And like I said, we will be going over each of these sub tabs more in depth in other videos. But if you have any questions in the meantime, please feel free to throw them in the comments below. Really hope you enjoyed this video and I hope you have a great day. At Crew Technologies, we love helping people get great value out of AppSheet. We do that through offering professional services and helpful content like this. To stay up to date, like and subscribe, and we're always trying to improve. So leave us your thoughts in the comments. Thanks for watching.